So I was going to post my first impressions for the season this weekend, and by that I mean yesterday, but apparently my computer decided to restart overnight and I hadn't explored my Audacity file yet, so yeah. I guess I could re-record and all that, but I think there's a topic that I would rather explore. And that is because, well, first impressions aren't that exciting. Like, I watch it, I give a quick paragraph thought on it, and yeah, if you really wanted to know how much I liked or didn't like something, you'd like ask on Twitter or Discord or wherever, and yeah. So instead, I want to take a look at the most recent show I saw, and one that is easily my favorite of the season, if not the year so far, and that is, as the title of the video suggests, Hisone to Masotan. Hisone is a military fantasy show about a dragon pilot. Think How to Train Your Dragon, but with less Vikings and more Japanese self-defense force. The thing that really impressed me here is just how the show feels. It's a show that just puts a big grin on my face throughout the entire thing. And really, just a pure fun show, but not in the absurd way like Keijo, like more of an innocent type of fun. And I think a lot of this is the whole like sense of adventure, especially when we see Hisone and the dragon flying. It's kind of like the sense of adventure and wonder we got last season in place further than the universe, or like the movie Little Nemo from a number of years ago. Part of this comes from the art style here, which is kind of basic, especially compared to like the more highly detailed backgrounds that we're used to, but because of these basic more cartoony designs and animations, it really amplifies the childlike sense of wonder, and the episode would not have nearly been as good with a more conventional style. Plus, the dragons portrayed in such a cute and fun way, not super dangerous like dragons in other media, though that may change as the show goes on. I also like how well the episode nailed Hisone as a main character. The fundamental key of any main character is likability, and this is especially true for the first episode, because the first episode has to convince the viewer, why should I watch more? And when the story really isn't going anywhere yet, when they need this time for setup, they need to have a character to connect with the viewer. And Hisone's character is a big driving factor for me wanting to see more. She is very relatable in that she does not know what she wants to do with her life. She is overwhelmed but apprehensive. She wants to do something that only she can do, but has no idea what it is. And the first scene has the other characters in the background talk about how they should follow their heart, or they'll just figure it out along the way. But really, that doesn't give a person much direction. She ends up kind of stumbling into the self-defense force, not unlike many of us through college or our careers, just taking what she has been given without much protest. She also wonders about living up to her parents' ideals. Again, a struggle that many people share. I also love how when she talks, she goes off on all these tangents and says whatever is on her mind, no matter what that is. But she knows this about herself, so tries to stay quiet most of the time, but there are times where she can't help herself, like halfway through the episode, where she goes off refusing to get in the dragon. Because she is so relatable and has these cool moments early on, we want to see more of her. And I hope they do explore her more and develop her more in the coming episodes, but for now, we got the foundation that we need. I also really like now and feel that she could be an interesting rival to Hisone in the coming episodes. Another thing I liked here was the comedy, mainly involving Hisone getting eaten by the dragon three times. This reminded me a lot of Konosuba with the frogs, and I think there's also a lot of irony here with the fact that the dragon kept eating her, but only did so and picked Hisone because the dragon liked the taste of flip phones. I feel like the show is saying something here, how we often stumble into the great things we can do only by pure chance. So that leads to the question, where will the show go from here? Well, obviously it could just become a fun, lighthearted adventure, which would make for a great show. It would not have to be all that serious, have just enough of a story to keep it interesting, and it would be a fun, relaxing time that I would enjoy greatly. But I'm not convinced it'll be that simple, that it doesn't have a few big surprises up its sleeve. Remember Made in Abyss last year? How it started off fun and adventurous. It then became something that was completely not fun and painful and torture and yeah, I remember that. Now, I'm not saying this will definitely go that direction, but I think there's enough evidence to expect that there is something more than we've seen so far. First of all, this is a Bones anime, which tend to be mostly serious, though not super dark, like shows like My Hero Academia, Mob Psycho, Stray Dogs, Noragami, all have their share of really dark moments. Also, this is a Bones original, and while I can't say I always like them, 
They are not the shows to just be written off as ordinary. Look at Concrete Revolution or Space Dandy. Those shows are not those that are just easily forgotten. Plus, this is a Netflix anime, and all the new anime from Netflix this year have been rather dark and serious. So, maybe this will be the exception. Uh, but I'm kind of doubting that. Look at the staff behind it too. You have Mario Kata as one of the writers, known for many melodramatic works. Directors who have worked on Kiznevier and the Evangelion movies. Plus the sound director who worked on Made in Abyss, Penguin Drum, and Your Name. While such big names don't necessarily mean this show will be good, it tells me that this show is at least aiming to be something special. What that means, or how much it will succeed, we'll have to see. But I think this one is worth trying, and I hope I've convinced you to at least try this first episode. Whether it remains a simple fun show or take a much darker turn, I really do think this will be one of the best shows of the year. So tell me what you thought of the show if you've seen it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.